Greetings everyone, and this is Cajun. Welcome to Cajun Gaming. I thought I would make another video for you of a game that I've been playing lately. This is called Portal Knights. If you're not familiar with the game, it's similar to Minecraft or something like that. Uh, you begin by developing a character. Uh, there are three different characters that you can get. This happens to be my uh, character. He's a ranger. But you can be a knight, or you can be a ranger, or you can be a wizard. And of course each of those has unique abilities that you will need to uh, um, work with and increase as you go along. Uh, this is the first map that you will come to on the game. Portal Knights takes place on a planet that has broken into pieces. And so you have to use these portals to go from one part of the planet to another part of the planet. I like to call them islands or something like that because they're all floating in the air. And so there's like 48 different islands that have been, that are a part of this game, at least at the present moment. And so again, you'll make these portals or have to use portals to travel from one to the other. Now, of course you start out with nothing and you start having to collect stuff. Uh, of course, you can see I've got a bow here, but you won't start out with that. I think you get to start out with a pick, and so, like Minecraft, you go and get stuff and collect things. Uh, like I say, all of these bushes uh, you can collect, but of course, even the ground uh, you can dig into and collect the dirt, uh, but there are uh, stones as well that you can collect and and use them to build things later on. Um, of course you can see I've got a little pet that makes a lot of noise right now but this is a tabby cat that is one of my pets. I've got several different ones that you can collect as you go through the game. Here's a portal. Uh, so this is what you'll need to discover and each portal you have to make these uh, crystal uh, blocks to fit into it and when you get enough of them then the portal will open up for you and then you can travel from one island to another. Uh, the different islands uh, that exist are again all different. Uh, you have some that are tropical uh, that have palm trees and you know that type of stuff. Then you have desert uh, islands that have uh, cacti, cacti and sand and all of that kind of thing. Then you have uh, snow biomes even uh, that have uh, snow and pine trees and things of that nature. So each one uh, is unique. Uh, you can see they're very pretty. <laughs> uh, they have some beautiful landscapes here on this game. And you have these unique creatures as well that are a part of them that you will have to fight and kill and when you do so you will collect some of their stuff. You have characters as well like this that you will talk to. Uh, here's an example of a house that you find. You can even collect like like their furniture as well. Um, but uh, again this is all part of Portal Knights. I'm going to take you back then to my base and once you go through a portal to a different island, then they will show up here on your maps that you can go to. And so see, you can see some of the different places I've opened up. Uh, down here, I've got my home, work, home island, which is number three uh, on uh, the first area that you have. And so let me travel home and I'll show you a little bit of what I have. So here you are traveling through the portal. Uh, here you have enter into kind of a wormhole type thing that connects you from one island to another. They're all similar like this. And so this is Fort Finch. This is my home island. It's, over, it's still dark here. I probably should be getting daylight uh, pretty soon. But you can see a little bit of what it's like. It does go from daylight to nighttime in uh, these islands and so you can see a little bit about what mine looks like. Uh, this here is a home that I have built. Take you inside and show you around a little bit. 
got a fireplace and a little bit of furniture, not much yet, so it's still kind of plain. You can even collect uh, pictures like I've got hanging there on the wall. I cut out this basement here recently so that I can come down here and need to start filling it in with furniture. But uh, again, just gives you an idea what you can do and uh, you can find some YouTube videos with some really unique places that people have built. Uh, this is all part of my deck out here. Uh, here's some pieces of, well, if you want to call it furniture or whatever, that I have made uh, that you can use then to make different pieces of equipment. And so here's my forge and I can make, uh, uh, or my furnace, they call it a furnace. And you have different types of brick and stuff that you can make with it. Uh, down here you have your workbench is one of your primary uh, things that you will need in the beginning and it can make different types of blocks and stuff for you as well uh, your uh, this is my archers bench here or, or station and I can make uh, weapons with that uh, here is my drafting board and I can use it to make furniture and so all of these pieces of equipment help you make uh, different things that you will need in the game. Um, you can uh, make these chests then to store your items. Uh, this was my initial base that I made just by carving into the uh, hillside here, dug it out, and then put in some furniture and that type of thing. Added this out here onto the back side. This is my back patio if you want to look at it that way. And as you can see, you're hanging in the air. This is an island, floating island. And so all of these islands uh, are similar to this. And again, you can travel from one to the other. So each time you travel, you have to go to a different island. You have to find a portal and then use that to uh, then uh, fill in with the crystal blocks that will enable you then to travel to uh, another island and so uh, uh, again there are uh, creatures that you can fight uh, there are some islands that contain these boss creatures that you can fight one of the unique things about the game is that you can uh, also get together with other players uh, friends of yours and you can f go and explore and fight some of these games uh, uh, together and so um, and this is a little pond that I made here. This one is over here as well. You filled it with water, built a bridge on it and everything. And so these are all things that you can do in this particular game. Over here you'll notice a huge castle and all of those people that you see there are people that you can go and talk to and uh, do uh, uh, interact with. You can buy things from merchants and other ones have quests for you to go and try to uh, explore and, and find things in. Uh, there are dungeons on each of the maps that will lead you to treasures that you can collect. Uh, even some of the dungeons have the portals hidden in them. Uh, but uh, again, you'll have to look in those and find the treasures and the various resources that you will need. Uh, to uh, build up your character and also to uh, just construct things that you will need in the game. Um, but this is a little bit about the game. Just hope it's something that you uh, is beneficial to you. Uh, again, I enjoy playing it. Again, it's like Minecraft. You can mine, you can gather resources and build things, or you can go on these quests and gather things uh, to enable you to level up and again make progress in developing your character but hope you've enjoyed this uh, little tour and hopefully we'll see you around the gaming world somewhere